Hey there folks, got a quick UU -U battle for you today against Mr. Supreme Justin who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. I was expecting him to lead off with his baby hippo, instead he leads off with his Alakazam. So while I sent out my Empoleon first turn, I realized that's really not a good thing. Uh, because this guy could carry Focus Blast and I'm gonna want to switch out. He actually has the same thought and wants to switch out, so maybe he didn't carry the Focus Blast. I don't know. Anyway, my Hugabug is out. This is a favorable matchup for me. I go for the Thunder against his Azumarill, and that is down in one hit, no questions asked. I was actually very grateful that he didn't go for the Aqua Jet. Um, if he was banded, I'm not sure whether I, whether I could have taken an Aqua Jet. Anyway, I stay in here, uh, just go for the Bug Buzz, hoping that I can survive a Psy Shock. Turns out I can't, so good to know. Send out Blake, my Arcanine, uh, go for the Extreme Speed, knowing that these guys are super duper frail. Now he sends out his Hippopotas, I don't know, I call it Baby Hippo, there we go. So Extreme Speed ain't gonna do Jack, and now he's got the sand up, and he's about to get his rocks up more than likely, so I switch into Kudzulu, yeah, here's his rocks, my Tangrowth, and I'm just gonna be able to power with this guy, I figure, unless he switches out. I'm actually expecting him to switch out, and I go for the Sleep Powder, so he sends out his, um, no, I go for the Power Whip, damn, why did I break that? Anyway, he sends out his Heracross, and so... I'm wondering if I can take a hit from this guy, I'm not sure. He goes for the Night Slash and expecting me to switch out into someone else. I don't switch. I guess he was predicting me to expect the um, Mega Horn and go into my Golurk, but instead, yep, yeah, I missed the Sleep Powder. Like, ah, this is awful hacks. Anyway, he's going to withdraw, send out his Baby Hippo, knowing that I'm going to go for the Sleep Powder, and so now his Hippopodas, his Hippopodas, I don't know, I'm just using whatever pronunciation I want, is going to be his Sleep Fodder, freaking Sleep Claws. Okay, so he's going to withdraw. Send out his hair across again. Now I can't put it to sleep. I go for the power whip, and it actually does a fair chunk of damage. So I'm wondering, well, maybe do I want to risk the hacks that he'll miss or over predict, or do I want to stay in? I decide I'll switch out. Let's just play it safe. Go out into my Arcanine. It's going to take a lot of damage from those rocks. And I'm, indeed, he goes for the Mega Horn. It, it hits. Um, it's not going to be great for me, but it's not awful either. I think I'm just going to go for the extreme speed again. He goes ahead and predicts that, switches into his Hippopotas. Freaking hell, I hate trying to pronounce that. Anyway, so yeah, um, I am not using my Arcanine well. I can't survive another round, but I'm bringing it back so I can use the Death Fodder for later. I figure this is a, an excellent chance for me to uh, get off an agility and uh, you know, be able to sweep, hopefully. So anyway, he sends out his Milk Tanks. I go for agility on my Empoleon. So now I'm going to be faster than pretty much anything on his team, uh, but I don't think I can really do anything to a mill tank. I go for the skull just in the hopes of getting it burned and getting some residual damage off on it. He goes for the seismic toss. Actually, don't mill tanks carry heal belt? I don't know. Anyway, he pops my air balloon with a um, with a seismic toss and then withdraws. I have no idea why he withdraw he withdrew there. I stay in, go for the skull the thing. Hey, I'm committed to this now. Uh, I go for the skull, it KOs his donkey, which is excellent, because that means I can put something else to sleep. Uh, so this hair crosses out, I'm like, Psh, whatever, I'm gonna take you out, no problem. At that range of health, I am way faster than you, not a problem at all. Anyway, now comes his Stoutlet, I'm not actually sure who's faster, turns out he's faster. Uh, he's gonna crunch me, ain't gonna do too much, yeah, he gets his speed boosted by the sand, so. Anyway, go for the skull, hoping to get a burn, don't get the burn hacks. Out is going to come this mill tank, and after two skulls, I think I should be able to KO, although maybe not, and well, the sand maybe, it's just not clear, and he could always, you know, go for the milk drink if he can survive this hit. I get him down to, uh, I get a crit here, and that crit probably mattered, let's be honest. Out's going to come his, I keep wanting to call it Hypno because he got named the Hypno, I go for the skull. Uh, does a lot of damage, now I get the burn, now that it's useless. He goes for the energy ball. I'm pretty sure I, I survived with 14 HP, so that's great because now I'm in torrent range, and I hit, take out his Hypno with another hit. That is excellent. Uh, out is going to come Stoutland to get him. Here's where my Empoleon Sweep is going to end. He goes for the Fire Fang, just for regularly effective damage, and Tux is down. Gonna send out Clank, and thinking, you know, I can probably wall this guy fairly well. It looks like he's locked in, so probably banded. That actually did a lot of damage. Anyway, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake, take out his Stoutland, no problem. This is actually the first time I have gone up against a Sand Team in UU, and it really wasn't that bad. So, hope you enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe.